is a 6k class worth it let's let's see all right if you're watching this immortal chronomancer is most likely released if it's not you might have to wait a day or two but nonetheless i have access to the class uh immortal and eternal chronomancer are the exact same class i don't let anyone tell you otherwise don't know why they have two different names doesn't make any sense but all right all right uh, so, I already have access to the class. Here is uh, some clips of the class doing some damage for your viewing pleasure. Alright, so this is the second class that was released in-game as a counter class. Now, counter classes before uh, last year were exclusive to a physical object to, to order off Hero Mart. Uh, now you can buy them in-game for 6,000 AUCs, uh, which is either $20 if there's a bonus package going on, or $40 if there's no bonus package going on, but you don't have to spend $40. If you want to get a membership plus uh, 5k AC, which will give you 6k AC, so uh, that's an extra five dollars, so that costs you 25 dollars right there. That's the cheapest way to get the class if there's no AC bonus going on. So 6k AC is 25 dollars ish, uh, is the cost of the class. So, uh, is it worth it? Now, keep in mind on Hero Mart, you can buy the calendar for 20 dollars plus shipping. Uh, shipping varies on where you live, uh, but it's around seven dollars for most places in the world. So make sure you check that. So it, it'll cost you like three extra dollars, but you also get items in other games and a physical calendar you can use, and it has all the dates for all the seasonal events and stuff on that calendar. So and uh, artwork that was specially made just for the calendar and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to consider buying the calendar. Uh, shipping is slow. It'll take a while to get to you and stuff like that. So if you want the class instantly, Immortal Chronomancer is the in-game version of the class, which is available to purchase in Battleon. Uh, it isn't there right now, so I can't show you exactly where to get it, but it is in Battleon. Um, now, this class has to go up against uh, last year's class, Shadowstalker of Time. Now, Shadowstalker of Time was probably one of the better classes ever released in Adventure Quest Worlds. This class is really good, as you saw from the clips there. Those uh, five uh, clips of like 90 to 100k damage, or 130k damage even. Uh, the class does a lot of damage. Now, it's a stacking class. How you use the class, I'll give you a really quick rundown. This isn't a class guide or anything, but you stack two and five. So you stack those two skills uh, about six times each. And then you hit three, then you hit four, and then it nukes and does around between like 30k damage and like 130k damage on on the regular now if you have other class that's solo if you have other classes boosting you and stuff like that you can do a lot more damage i've seen like 250k hits i've seen a million damage hits i don't know if that's photoshopped or whatever but uh i've seen some pretty high hits with this class so it is kind of a new class similar to chrono dragon knight although i not sure which one's better i would love to see a video comparing them i don't have chrono dragon knight sadly uh, so I can't compare them, or I would, because uh, Chrono Dragon Knight is probably the class that's most similar to this one. Um, now, should you buy this class over Shadow Stalker of Time? Because I think they'll st both be available in-game at the same time, two calendar classes in the game, because they said they weren't going to remove Shadow Stalker of Time until it ran out of stock on Hero Mart, uh, the, the physical calendar ran out of stock, and it's not out of stock yet, so you should be able to buy Shadow Stalker of Time the same time you can buy a mortal chronomancer unless they remove it from the game which they might uh but at the same rate you can still buy the shadow stalker of time calendar on hero mart and get that class if you want to it costs you a little a few extra dollars but that's uh, uh i would i would go with shadow stalker of time over this class still at this point i still think shadow stalker is a better class it, it's more consistent now this is a luck based class i use it with full luck enhancements i think everyone uses it with full luck enhancements 
Uh, so you're, whether or not you hit a big hit is really dependent on your luck, like just RNG basically. Uh, with Shadow Stalker of Time, there's a lot less of that, so you're doing more consistent damage to bosses. Uh, this class does have a heal, and they buffed the heal since I originally made a video on this class, uh, so it's a lot better now. But it's still not the greatest. Uh, Alright, so now that you have all the info you probably need on the class, uh, and my thoughts on it, is it worth it? I would say yes, the class is one of the higher DPS classes in the game. Uh, I would recommend Shadow Soccer of Time over this class, but if you already have Shadow Soccer of Time, you're looking to change it up a little bit, this class would be a good alternative. Uh, maybe as a nuke base class, if you like seeing big damage and stuff like that, it's pretty fun for doing that. And uh, yeah, that's about all for this video. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, I, th I feel like people already know, uh, if you want to see a class guide, I feel like people already know how to use this class, but if you want to see a class guide, leave a comment down below. And if you have any more info you'd like to share with people, I'll uh, leave that in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.